in this video, I am going to talk to you about why I don't use the calorie counting method with my clients. Now, the internet, social media, and other PTs may lead you to believe that being in a calorie deficit and counting your calories is the be all and end all. It is the only way to get success. Now, there is one thing that I can agree with there, and that is being in a calorie deficit is indeed how you lose weight. Do you have to track your calories to do that? No. Okay. So back in the day, I decided to count calories because I would have done absolutely anything anyone told me if I had believed that it was going to give me the result. I mean, we've all been there. We've tried all the fad diets, the juice cleansers, the shakes, you know, whatever it is, we've all done it. So I decided, you know what, if everybody's saying calorie counting is the way, I'm going to do it. When I tried this, I was working in a very busy job in finance and I decided, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. It was so time consuming. Oh my goodness. I am the kind of person that I'm very all or nothing. And when I decided to do this, I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it properly. And I was surprised at how many times I had to jump into this app, log everything that I ate. And especially if you have meal prepped something, then you have to like break it all down because you've made it in bulk, weigh it all out. And I was just like, this is like another full-time job. For someone that was already really busy and wondering how I was going to fit it all in, I was feeling pretty overwhelmed. So my number one thing with it is that it's quite time consuming. And for myself and for the types of people that I train, which is usually busy mums, professional women, I just didn't have time for it. And I know what people are thinking, oh, well, if it's a priority, you'll make time for it. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But are you saying that as somebody who didn't have a really hectic full-time job, who already had troubles putting themselves first in most situations? Because mums, busy women, people with family commitment, people with partners, we all have different things that pull us in lots and lots of different directions. Adding another thing to the plate sometimes just isn't helpful. And for me to be consistent and compliant with it, I really had, had to make it a little bit easier, which meant doing a whole ton of meal prep and eating the same things over and over again. Now, you don't have to do this when you calorie count, but for me, because time was an issue, I found that, okay, if I eat the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday to Friday, I'll know that I'm within my calorie deficit. Great. That solved that issue. But what happens when I went out for dinner? I became a pain in the ass, let me tell you. Because I would sit there and be like, do you think this is 150 grams of fish? Or do you think it's more like 120? I just have to put it in my app. What do you think? Should I put in, should I count for some oil? I think that they definitely cooked it in oil. It was so annoying, not only for me, but for the people that I would be dining with. They'd be like, is she okay? She needs to calm down. It's just one meal. But to me, who was so desperate to get my results, it wasn't just one meal. It was like the be all and end all of what I was doing. I was really having to try and like live by these numbers, making sure that I hit them because I was so utterly desperate for the results, right? So desperate. So my number one thing with it, it is really, really time consuming. Now, the second thing is that a lot of the times when people come to see a PT or a trainer or they want to get results, they always say the same thing. I just want to lose weight, feel confident, get fit, look strong. And that's really just the surface level stuff. And the same was the case with me, right? Because it's usually so much deeper than that. It can be anything from, it's more like the feeling you get if you can't bend down and tie your shoes or the feeling that you get where you might have to tuck your belly into your jeans or wear a pair of Spanx to that nice event in order to make sure that you feel comfortable and confident in your dress. Or it could be the thought of your child asking you to go for a bike ride with them, you knowing full well that you probably couldn't do it because you just don't think that you could keep up. They're the real reasons that people want to lose weight and be healthy. It's not just about looking good in something or losing five kilos. It's about how you feel, right? And when you don't have the right information to get there, you can sometimes cheat the system. That's exactly what I was doing because what would happen is I would come home from work, log all my food, and if I'd had a really shitty or busy day, before I knew it, I was half a block of chocolate in before dinner. And I was like, oh, I don't know what happened there. I'll log that, of course. I'll log it but I won't eat dinner. I'll be really hungry, but I've got to stay within these markers. And then I would just start thinking, well, you know what? Like I can eat what I want. So I would eat things like McDonald's, low quality foods, and then just not eat for a long period of time just to cheat the system. But I was still in a calorie deficit. So that still made me feel like I could tick it off as a win, but I was really tired. I was really irritable. Um, my hair got really, really fine. Um, I had like a wider like, part line and for some reason, I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. 
It's because the food that I was eating wasn't giving me the right macro and micronutrients. So that is another problem with calorie counting. If you don't understand your energy balances and how to eat properly, you can pretty much cheat the system, eat those low quality subpar foods, but then you're not even solving the problems that you might have come there for. Because one of the things is maybe not having enough energy to play with your kids or to want to sleep with your partner because you're so bone tired because you're not getting the right energy or right um, right amount of macronutrients and micronutrients. You might be starting to feel a little bit self-conscious because your hair feels really thin and you don't know why. You're like, but I've lost all this weight. I'm healthy, but it's because you know you're not choosing the right types of foods to fit into your calorie deficit. So I take a really whole food approach and I want to teach my clients to eat for health. And there is a way of doing this without counting calories. So this is why I don't always use the calorie counting method with my clients is because it has a more specific purpose. I would tend to use that method with somebody that I've worked with for a long time and that I know has a really healthy relationship with food and with their body so that they don't cheat the system. They don't do what I did and get the result they want, but still not have the energy or still not have that glow to their skin because they're not actually being that healthy, right? So that's another reason why I don't use the calorie counting method. And another one is like, it can be really complicated, right? I want to make things really simple because if something is simple and effective, you are more likely to do it. It doesn't feel like you're going against the grain. And if you don't have to log your food into an app, and if you don't have to count out how many serves you're having, or you don't have to measure something, and that you build a really good understanding of portion control, then you're going to be likely to be able to do that forever. Yes, it might mean that your results are a little bit slower sometimes, or maybe it means that you've got to tweak some things further down the track, but it's all a learning process and you're doing it without relying on the numbers with saving some time and eating for health. So this is why I choose a bit of a different philosophy when it comes to this and my clients get results and they're amazed at the amount or volume of food that they can eat because there is a huge difference between a hundred calories of chocolate and a hundred calories of strawberries. They are both gonna do entirely different things in your body and anybody that tells you otherwise is lying right? Because those people that just push, you know, eat what you want, as long as you stay in calorie deficit, you're going to get those results. They aren't giving you the full picture. And I believe that's a little bit of a disservice, right? They're only solving one portion of the problem. They're also not really teaching you about what food does for your body, how it can help build your immunity, how it can give you energy, how it can help you sleep better, perform better, make better decisions, because you're not going to make really great decisions when you've got no energy because you've been eating low quality fuel. Yeah, sure, you might look great on the outside, but you can't out train a bad diet. You just cannot. There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on when we eat that low quality, low processed foods. So that is why I don't choose to use that method with the majority of my clients because I want them to find how good this kind of fit can feel. There is a whole different meaning to having a lot of energy, to feeling like that you're serving your body and to knowing and feeling confident with your food choices and having a healthy relationship with food. So there is a time and a place for calorie counting 100%, but is it the be all and end all? Absolutely not. And can you get results without doing it? Absolutely. I know because my clients get results. I know because it's the exact way that I got results. The best results I've ever had are doing it the way I now teach my clients to do it. And it doesn't involve counting a single calorie. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed. If you've got any questions, you know where to find me on socials or hit me back on this email. And I look forward to seeing you very soon.